Welcome to a journey in soul discovery. I'm your host, Adrian Nicastro, from Pathways to Inner Peace. We each have the power within us to transform our lives. Our desire to grow brings new opportunities, journeys of metamorphosis that arrive special delivery from the universe. Through your intentions, the world heard your call leading you to this podcast and the adventures and soul discovery that you'll find here. Support, guidance, and practical tools for living and navigating our human world with more love, peace, and joy. This is what I endeavor to offer. I hope that you find what you're looking for here. For more information, please visit me at www.pathways, the number two, innerpeace.com. Be blessed. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you're listening from. Today I wanted to offer a note. We could call it a special note to people that are empathic and energy sensitive. These are challenging times for those in the world, but if you're energy sensitive or empathic, you might find yourself struggling a lot more than the average person in this way. The energy in the ethers is filled with grief, with ideas and fear around death and loss worry about illness, getting sick, passing on, or leaving loved ones behind. And if you're energy sensitive or empathic, you'll be very attuned to this energy. You may find yourself breaking into tears for no particular reason, or feeling a weight in your chest, which is symbolic and can be actual physically experienced as its attachment to grief. You may find yourself struggling with a lot of anxiety or worry more than what you've done in the past. All of this can be overwhelming on a day-to-day basis and speaks to the need for spiritual energetic protection. So a couple things to help you along your way. Be sure to meditate, cleanse your space, tune in and recenter frequently. Be sure to wear energetic protection. Wrap yourself in a bubble of light, being that it's slippery on the outside. If you feel the need for extra protection, wrap yourself in outward facing mirrors. That helps the energy bounce back to its source. Most importantly of all, keep your attitude as uplifted as possible. Manage negative thoughts and emotions. Finding a way to give them a voice that's not against your highest good, like expressing them to a friend that you trust, writing them in a journal, or finding a viable outlet, like painting, drawing, or exercise. When our thoughts and emotions dip down into our darkest well, spending too much time in our shadow self, It resonates in our energy field. And then we become magnetic because energy attracts energy in its like forms. So negative is attracted to negative, positive to positive in an energetic sense in terms of our emotional well-being. If you have a lot of fear around death 
or recent experiences or unresolved experiences with loss and grief. As an empath or energy sensitive during this time frame, you may find that whatever is unresolved in you is surfacing more intensely. So you can use this tumultuous time as a passageway, a portal through which you can walk to uncover and release whatever is holding you back to resolve unhealed hurts by lifting your vibration through this healing you can not only help yourself but your vibration goes out to affect all those around you this concludes the podcast for today as a special message to those of you who are empathic and energy sensitive i hope that you found it helpful and i hope that you also feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions comments, concerns, are looking for more ways to learn about your skill set of being empathic and energy sensitive, even though it might be seemingly more challenging than positive in these days. Be blessed. That concludes today's episode from A Journey in Soul Discovery. Thank you for joining me. I welcome your comments, your likes, your follows, and anything you would like to share about what you found here today. I hope you discovered what you were looking for. For more information, please join me at www dot pathways the number two inner peace dot com thank you for letting me share my love my passion and my light and as always be blessed